Officials are still assessing the damage following the strongest earthquake in 25 years. Dash cam video captured the moment the quake struck during Wednesday's morning rush. You can see some cars pulled over on the side of a highway near New Taipei City. The U.S. Geological Survey said it was a magnitude 7.4 that struck along the island's east coast. At least nine people have been killed, more than a thousand others injured. The number of people missing or trapped continues to change by the hour. A group of students from Chicago are in Taiwan right now. WJN's Kelly Davis is here now with more on what they experienced during that earthquake. Kelly. Ben and Lourdes, a group of 20 students from St. Ignatius studying Mandarin are spending their spring break in Taiwan this week. They've been there since Saturday, experiencing the culture and immersing themselves in the language. But this once-in-a-lifetime trip took a turn when a 7.4 magnitude earthquake shook the island. Search and rescue is underway inside a partially collapsed building after a powerful earthquake rocked the east coast of Taiwan. Dramatic video shows a 10-story building leaning on its side. It looks like it's about to come crashing down into the white building across the street. Ann Murphy says that's the hotel where her son, Will, was eating breakfast when the earthquake hit. I got a phone call at 7 p.m., um, which was 8 a.m. Taiwan time, and he said, Mom, and I said, hey, and he said, um, there's an earthquake right now. 20 St. Ignatius students and their chaperones evacuated the building uninjured. Will shared these harrowing pictures of their hotel when he got to safety. He was kind of shaken, um, but he reassured me, like, we're okay, everybody's safe, nobody's injured. This came as a huge relief to a mom who's feeling helpless, praying for her son on the other side of the world. Well, it's surreal. You know, we live in Chicago. We don't have earthquakes, so to not even understand like what was going on or what they're experiencing, but to hear that shakiness in his voice um, and then to see pictures later of, you know, their surroundings was pretty scary. The group is said to be in good spirits. They rerouted their trip to the west side of the island and settled into a new hotel for the night. While Wednesday's itinerary was awash, they plan to pick up where they left off on Thursday. They've had this traumatic experience together and I think it's going to be really um, healing for them to be able to then have some of their trip continue um, and not be derailed too much by this. Anne says she's comforted knowing the kids are in good hands both with the school and the Taiwanese people. Father Bohr sent us a message uh, and said, you know, Mr. Rogers tells us to look for the helpers and he said they didn't really have to look for helpers like everybody just came to help them. The students will continue on their trip throughout the week over the next few days, and then they return to Chicago on Saturday night. Ann told me she will be at O'Hare waiting for her son that night. Mm. She cannot wait to give him a hug. I bet.